Oh my god, I can't believe I'm filming again. Hi you guys, I'm so happy to see each and every one of you. <laughs> I'm so excited for today because this is the only time I had time for myself. I actually got sick, that's the reason why <laughs> I had the time to film. So anyway, if you guys want to have like a life update video, well then stay at the end. So we're gonna do the, the super extra haul first and then after that we're gonna cheese me, okay? So I'm gonna start with the shoes because I just wanna get them out of the way because they've already been worn. I love these shoes because they're so extra. Hold on, let me just get them for you. So first, I got these shoes from Burlington. I got so many compliments with these. They come in clear white too. However, when I got there, they didn't have my size. It was so, so sad. Sorry if it has dirt on it. But this was absolutely beautiful and it was just, I think, like $23. And the white one was on clearance for like $14. And of course, it got sold out right away because it's so pretty. And the best part of these stilettos is that they are so, so, so comfortable. I can't even believe it. To me, this is just the definition of like a Barbie super extra punk rock, whatever. And I just absolutely adore it. And you know what? If it goes out of style then you can just like let go of it without feeling so hurt about it because the fact that it's so affordable and I just again I just love it it's so comfortable it's so nice with like jeans and a tank top or like a plain white shirt it, it got it got a lot of attention everywhere I go when I wore this I would get compliments like they would stop me somewhere and like oh my gosh your shoes are so beautiful where'd you get it it was on that level so if you guys are looking for these again like they are still at Burlington I went there after two weeks of getting these and they are still there so if you want to grab one then it's your chances I got these at Walmart they are so freaking beautiful and it's so extra look I've been to Marshalls Ross Burlington but they don't have this kind of stuff they they have like you know blinged um, bling sandals over there but not on this level of extraness and the fact that this is just twenty dollars just really blows my mind and i absolutely love it i'm so obsessed with this one and the thing about this one is that you can wear something plain and simple and then if you wear this it really gives you that extra oomph in the outfit like an extra kick and it's not focusing like oh my gosh this camera is ruining my youtube career um, I just love it. You guys should get one of these because it's just so awesome. They still have it at Walmart too, again, for like $20. And let me show you the pink one. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm telling you, like, this is just so unreal. So cute and pretty. I just can't get over it. I'm just, I wish everyone has this. <laughs> if you're the bling type of chick, then this is something that you will like too. I just love it. Oh my gosh, I'm just so obsessed with it. I can't, I can't even... Like, it's perfect for simple outfits, and this one will just really, you know, um, give the show. I just love it. I adore it. Alright, so now let's move on to Amazon. I actually bought my watch, like, a year ago because I just realized, like, I haven't bought myself, like, a watch ever. It's always been my mom that buys me the watches and the jewelry and things like that. And I said, like, you know what? Um, I have a different life now. Let me Let me change everything, so... I was using Apple for a very long time, for 13 years, and I switched to Samsung for like the whole entire thing. So this is my watch right now. It is um, the Samsung watch. I don't, I don't even know what it's called, god damn it. <laughs> but it's the Samsung watch, and I got this um, screen protector from Amazon. It's all blinged up. And this chameleon looking like strap. I got it from Amazon too. And I love it because... Um, this is the watch for. I got it because it's so nice and it's magnetized like that. And you, when you wear it, it's so easy to put on. And it's so easy to adjust. So you would think that because it's magnet, it's not going to cling strong. But no, actually clings in really, really nice, you guys. Let me show you. Of course, when I'm showing it, I'm struggling. So it, it goes like that. So it's nice and cute. So along with that... I wish I actually bought this sooner because I had some scratches around the rims of my watch already, which is sad. I got some of them. They come in a bundle. I think it was like less than $15 for these. And they're all blinged out too because I love bling. I love being extra like that. And then 
I got another set. It's just different colors. So that one is black, clear, and silver. This one is pink and bronze and clear. I hope you guys could see that. It's really nice and pretty and just to save your time, you know, it's gonna look like that, almost like the same. So I can like mix and match them so that my watch would last me for like 1 million years. And then this strap is actually, it comes in two pieces. So the other one is silver, very basic and simple. So I can match it with my other um, screen protectors as well. And then I got myself like really cute stuff. I've been wanting this for like a really long time now for my watch. But around that time I was on a budget. I still am on a budget. But when you can come to think of it, like I'm not even like in a... I'm supposed to have like therapy for like my mental health. But I feel like shopping does a, <laughs> does a good job for me. I don't really shop a lot, but you know... I talk to my friends all the time and that really helped a lot. This is also a watch strap, you guys. And it is so cute too and so fashionable. I am so excited to wear this. And the reason why I'm not wearing it right now is because this is like, um, you know, it's, it's, um, it's rubber. Like the strap is like rubber. It's elastic. And I've had experiences with these. Um, over time, they get a little rusty and they just like break. So we we'll want to be careful for that. Use it for like some sort of like special event. And then, lastly for the strap, I'm so excited for this one too. I just like literally like ripped the packaging. It is a super cute watch band too. Oh, come on, get out. Okay. So it looks like this. Very pretty. It actually reminded me of like kind of looks like gemstones. You know what would be cool if they are, these are real gemstones? So the straps are like around $15, so uh, to me it's a good price too. Oh my god, that is so freaking pretty, you guys. Come on, focus. That is so pretty. Please agree. So the downside of this one is that you can't really adjust it, so it's going to be like a little loose if your wrist is tinier than mine or it's gonna be like a little tight if your wrist is bigger than mine so that's the only thing about this one because this one is just like a one size fits fits all kind of a thing so it doesn't come in many sizes so that's that so pretty oh my gosh I love it I love it I love it I love it and then oh my gosh this is definitely like one of the cutest things I've ever owned like this bling case to me is everything when I used to have like an iPhone before all of the cases that I have is so extra too like furry and sparkly this is like the same so this is my phone now I'm using a Z flip and I absolutely love it and look at this case oh my gosh tell me tell me that this is not cute it is absolutely cute and this is like 20 plus dollars too and then I got the white version of it and I'm going to alternate them so that they won't break easily on me. Oh no, did something just rip? Okay, this is the white one. Oh my gosh, you guys, isn't that pretty? Wow, now you can even really see it. Isn't that beautiful? Alright, so that's actually everything from my haul. See, very, just very short and simple, not really anything grand. Let's move on to my life update. All right, you guys, time for a life update because I've been gone for like a long time. So if you guys have been have not been following me on Instagram, you should follow me there because I post there often. I mean, kind of. But, okay, obviously I've been, you know, separated for like a year and a couple of months now and that went by fast. I just want to thank God and my family and my friends for keeping me up. Because I can remember those days where I just can't do it anymore, you know? I was so hurt to the point that I just can't feel anything. Like, I can't believe I felt that pain where your heart aches so bad and you can't breathe. I felt that. Because my ex, he, to me, he was my best friend. He was my everything. He's the only one I have here. So when decisions were made, that really tore me apart. 
this video is not to talk negatively about anyone or anything at all. I respect if the decision was like that, you know. I'm not going to force people to stay in my life. I'm not going to force people to stay in my life if they're not sure of me. I'm not going to force people to stay in my life they, if I'm not the choice. To me, all I ever did was, you know, I did what I can. That's all I'm going to say. And decisions have been made. And every time I close my eyes and assess myself, if I can forgive what was done, I just can't. And I can't. I just can't. I forgive it, but I, I just can't forget about it, I guess. And I think these kind of habits will never, <coughs> never change. <coughs> Sorry. I'm cuffing and gagging. And um, I feel like everything I do or film, I feel like I'm being watched. I feel like I'm being judged. I feel like I'm being this and that. All I can ever say is that I hope you guys don't judge me like that because you guys don't even know me so you can't say like I'm a psychopath just like that because you don't know me as a lover as a partner you don't know me as a friend um this is why I just keep on saying like whatever I'll just leave it that I don't have to explain myself to anyone at all you know and uh, my career I'm doing great I'm still using my cosmetology license and I absolutely love it though I do have like a lot of plans that I'm so excited to do once everything just gets settled down and um, sad part that we sad part that we have to sell this house because I feel like I want to buy him out but I feel like the other party won't even agree on that they just wanted like half and half or like everything but like where am I gonna stay it's not even you know what I mean? And I'm a strong woman. I'll figure it out. Um, I'm just worried about my kids. Sparky, Pebbles, Buttercup, and Princess. Like, you know. <laughs> What's going to happen to my dogs, you know? Because renting an apartment right now is just ridiculously expensive. And with additional dogs, I don't think it's going to happen. But... I'm keeping my hopes up, but that's that. I'm probably going to move somewhere like far from the people that I don't want to be with. I have friends that I felt like betrayed me because I'm giving them all these information and then they're sharing it to other party. Like I felt like my peace was not being respected. I've cut a lot of people that I think that is necessary and could you not, I'm living my best peaceful life right now. So right now, the plan is to just focus on my career, do the things that I gotta do. And for the fifth, sixth time, I'm going to pack again and just get ready for the worst. Because I don't know what's gonna happen in my life. I really don't. All I know is that I'm gonna be moving because this house is going to get sold. And in California, like, having a house is such a big deal. I can't stress that enough. But it's so sad that this investment had to go to waste because of a dumb decision like that. All I can ever say is that I'm not going to say that I'm an angel. I'm pretty sure everyone has flaws. But, again, if you want me, you want me. If you don't, then you don't. So... I just wish everyone the best and if you're going through the same thing um, I just want to let you know that things will get better over time surround yourself with strong people because that's what I did I remove negative people I surrounded myself with mature people that will understand the situation because you can't be asking advices from kids you know that hasn't had the experience that like, a similar experience you just don't ask advices from bitter bitches like no 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 no. you ask people who are experienced in life you know and it also helps when you ask advice from people who are not biased because oh, that way like my family if I do something wrong they call me out you know 
they're not like, if I did something wrong, they're not going to like pet it. You know, they're not going to tolerate it. They're going to call me out on my bullshit. They're going to say like, oh, you know, you're not nice on this way and this way. And I love them for that. That to me is true friends, true family, you know. They correct me. They put me in the right direction. And I just, again, these are the type of people that I want to be with. Um, I'd like to say that I am doing better like mentally I feel like I can think straight now and I can act accordingly now but there's still a little bit of trauma left inside my heart I feel like I just don't trust people like that but I will net I will never let the future people that comes in my life suffer because of my trauma because I don't want to create another karma for myself so that's that but again like if you're going through the same thing I promise to you like things will get better over time don't put don't make decisions don't make life uh, destructive decisions it's like self-destructive decisions that can add to the problem <clears throat> to me what made me grow as a person is that I just again like I don't have anyone so if I F it up then that's all on me, I'm gonna suffer. So I just had to put my, you know, smile back on and just, you know, keep on going because if I stop, then my world is gonna crash down and my life is not gonna get me anywhere. So keep your head up, focus on your job, your career, focus on yourself. I did start working out and I feel great. I feel this is not my final form. I'm just so excited for my future self. Sometimes I look in a mirror and I'm like, I feel like I look different, I act different, and I freaking love it. I feel like I've unlocked a different version of me. So that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it's kind of boring, you know. I'm still kind of like testing the waters again because it's been a while since I have filmed and, you know, I'll do better next time. But thank you so much for always waiting for me to make videos. I appreciate you guys, and if you're still a part of the Sassy family, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!